brings together a carnival occasion, despite the rain. Sell out crowd in the grid today. Best grab of season. Hopefully we'll win again. So we wanted to start the party a little bit early. So it's a real privilege to be here to be able to honour Gordon Banks' outstanding achievement. He is and will always remain an incredible inspiration to the people of Stoke on Trent and beyond. That's why just a few short days ago, we were proud to grant Gordon the freedom of the city of Stoke on Trent. And it follows on from his great induction into the Stoke on Trent Sporting Hall of Fame in 2011. So today marks a kind of a hat trick of civic celebrations. We're going to formally unveil this iconic statue in its final location, which will greet home and visiting fans every time they come into the Brit. And for those of you not able to attend the fabulous Sports Awards earlier this week, a bit of a quick brief resume. Gordon's career, we all know, second to none. An England World Cup winner medal, League Cup winners with Leicester City and Stoke City, of course, an OBE, Goalkeeper of the Year, and so on and so forth. An absolutely outstanding player. Despite the win. Since he's hung up his books, boots, Gordon's been a great ambassador for the city and someone we're immensely proud of. And it's right that we recognise our heroes in this city and Gordon's always been one of those great heroes. So here we have a statue to honour him, the brainchild of Don Mullen. Don, a passionate Gordon Banks supporter, has written a book about his hero and through his enthusiasm we are here today. It's been an absolutely monumental effort with a huge amount of work done by all partners from the local sculptor Andy Edwards right the way through to all of the work done by partners in bringing it here today. So, faced with the possibility that this fabulous statue might be sited elsewhere outside of the city, our friends from the Sentinel kick-started a campaign to save it. And today we celebrate that statue's homecoming. So before moving on, just a few people here worth mentioning who have come together to make this a reality. The Gordon Banks Monument Committee, who without wouldn't have happened. Andy Edwards, the football club, Kia, Aspire, PM Training, Trig Engineering, Sabet, and of course my team from the City Council. A fabulous, fabulous piece of teamwork and a great result for the city. So I'd like to pass you over now to Stoke on Trent's first citizen, Lord Mayor Majid Khan, and Gordon Stoke City and England teammate George Eastham to come forward and help unveil this great statue. The Lord Mayor and the legend Mr George Eastham, if I can ask you, Lord Mayor, can you come here with George? We're both going to stand together and we're both going to take that for you one second, George. Thank you. I'm just going to pose for pictures one second with you both there, thank you. Okay, the big moment. The moment that I've been worrying about all evening is, are we going to get it off in one go? That's the thing, let's see. I've got Richard from here on hand to give us a hand. So, Mr George Eastham, Mr Khan, the Lord Mayor of Stoke-on-Trent, when you're ready, please, could we unveil an absolutely amazing piece of artwork? The legend that is, Mr. Gordon Banks over here. And I think at this point it would be only right if we invite Gordon up just to say a few words. So, Mr. Gordon Banks, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, everybody. First of all, can I just thank these gentlemen and ladies down here? They've, they've come from Norway, the Stoke City yeah. supporters. Yeah. Hey! Hey! Well done, well done. Yeah. Absolutely marvellous. Well done. Uh, and also, just a few words, since it's raining, I just hope there's no pigeons around. <laughs> <laughs> but first of all, I'd like to thank 
Hello, Peter Coates from Stoke City Football Club and the council to allow a permanent site for the statue. Also, Don Mullen for his ideas and energy behind the project. Also, to Andy Edwards, the sculptor, for making me look so young. <laughs> but it was 1966. <laughs> Last but not least, I'd like to thank the people of Stoke-on-Trent for expecting me, accepting I should say, accepting me as one of their own. And for that, I'll always be grateful. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the legend there is Mr Gordon Banks. And happy to see it installed, as I'm sure everybody is. We're all delighted with it. Are we going to get you standing up here, Gordon? Do you think I can give you hand up? Are we standing next to it? Come on. Come on, let's let's get up a slap here. Let's see. Don't fall off. Bang. You go as Bobby Moore and we'll have a picture with Gordon. Watch your head. We haven't got the insurance to put you up there. Yeah, <laughs> let's have a round of applause for the Gordon. The the great Gordon Banks, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much.